XR Turbo. Today I am here to show you one of the devices I've been developing for a very long time. It is called the OBD2 Simulator. Um, it is here, and basically what we're looking at is a USB port, 12 volts input, and a little dongle with an OBD2 connector on it. And what we're able to do with this device is plug it in to USB and load in specifics about your car. So if you are, say, a code scanner developer or you are someone who's interested in learning the OBD2 protocols but you don't necessarily feel like sweating it out in a vehicle all day long, this device will actually help you develop and learn what you're, uh, what you're trying to learn. So what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the software that I've written. It's a very basic uh, C-sharp application that uh, connects via USB and allows us to load in some very basic parameters uh, into the unit. It will become more advanced as time goes on. Uh, but I'm going to give you a quick little demonstration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in with USB. And we're going to go ahead and connect to this unit with the software. So click connect and it is connected. And we have some, uh, we have some settings already in here. I'm going to go ahead and clear these out and uh, I'm going to read whatever is on the unit and okay well they're the same settings and uh, we know that's loaded in. Let's rewrite them just to, just to be safe. And actually I'm going to make a change. I'm going to change the oxygen sensor readiness monitor to in progress and we're going to save that to the unit. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in with my code scanner and we're going to see what it reads out. So right now it's reading the code and in a second it's going to come out and it should have a yellow light and there's going to be a little blinking guy up here that indicates that the oxygen sensor um, readiness monitor has not completed. So we're going to go ahead and change that setting in the software and we're going to set it as ready and I'm going to click right. Now we're going to push press link and it's going to read out the codes again and this time we have green, which indicates no readiness monitors are incomplete, everything is good. And right now that is the extent of the uh, functionality I'd like to show you guys, but as time goes on we will be adding functionality to the software so that it can support more PIDs and, and things of that nature. Hope you enjoyed.